Well, you've got to love a very complex problem for which there are no easy answers, and that's the Southern California steelhead. Not to mention the fact that this is a very endangered species, and I traded my Joe Adcock model first baseman glove for a fly rod when I was 12. I'm starting to catch things with a fly rod, steelhead included. Um, from the first time steelhead enters into the American sort of ichthyological world, scientists have been fussing over what to call the thing, what its range is, how it behaves. Um, it's, it's the complexity that science, as well as naturalists, sportsmen, uh, all seem to be of a common mind. This is one complex, intriguing fish. History. The material came from very, very diverse uh, sources, from the L.A. Times going back to 1899 to the Azusa uh, Herald Pomeotropic newspaper to rainfall charts to master's theses written at Whittier College in 1945, uh, public documents, and that's paintings, plain air paintings, uh, helped me understand the environment in which these fish uh, have survived. Okay, good. The trickiest problem is documents, documents, documents. It's easy now that uh, NOAA has prepared a 560-page cyclopedia on the status, its endangered status, uh, and what can be done to rescue and preserve this animal. But finding the history of it, that's a real challenge and remains so. We know what the future should look like. The NOAA work has laid out a plan for all of the rivers in the Southern California Steelhead Range. Uh, we know how to do it. The plan is there. The challenge is can we bring all people on board and make the kind of commitments to this fish's future uh, that will be 25 and 50 years down the line. The survival of the fish depends upon collaboration from a variety of like-minded organizations, whether they be educational in the case of the aquarium, whether they be academic institutions, it's federal uh, agencies, it's state agencies, it's volunteer groups uh, like Trout Unlimited, like uh, Caltrout, and countless others. Mm -hmm.